Hi, and welcome back to Temple Baptist Church. So glad that you're with me this afternoon. I hope that you're having a great day. We're continuing our study in John, and John is packed full of great truths that we need to know and understand. And today we're in John chapter 19, and we're looking at verse 17 through verse 19. And here's what the Bible says. And he, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the Palace of a Skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him and two others with him, one on either side and Jesus in the center. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. When Jesus bore his cross, he was bearing our cross also, which means that he bore his cross for you and for me and for every other person that is part of the human race. In this passage, we find three important things. First, we see that Jesus bore his cross on the way to Golgotha. That is to say that the cross upon which he would be crucified, he was bearing that cross. He was carrying it from one place to the next, but he was bearing as well the great burden of all of mankind's sin upon his shoulders because he knew that he would die for the sins of the world. The second thing we see in this passage in verse 18 <clears throat> is that Jesus was crucified at Golgotha with two other men, one on either side. Not crucified alone, but crucified um, with two other men. Crucifixion was a horrible thing to endure. It would lead to certain death. Crucifixion was that the Roman soldiers would force the prisoner to lay upon a wooden cross, their arms outstretched, their feet together at the bottom. They would drive these huge spikes through their hands and through their feet, and then they would take that wooden cross and stand it up in a hole. Easter has just recently passed. And I'm sure that you probably heard sermons about all that Jesus would have to suffer as he suffered upon the cross. The third thing that we see in this particular passage was that Jesus' cross was marked with a sign declaring Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Jesus would take his cross walking so that he could experience the torture of crucifixion. And yet Jesus was willing to bear this cross willingly because he knew that in bearing it, he was actually taking what should have been yours and mine death in a horrible way in order to pay the penalty for our sin. And Jesus was willing to take that upon himself so that we could experience forgiveness and salvation and so that we could experience life and we could experience the fullness of God at work in and around us. All that's necessary for you to experience that today is trusting in Jesus, trusting and relying upon what Jesus did for you on that day when he bore his cross and he walked to that place that is called the palace of a skull, Golgotha. None of what Jesus did was easy. It was painful, it was horrible, it was torture, but he did it for you, he did it for your family, and he did it for all of mankind. At Temple Baptist Church, we want to help you better understand who Jesus is and all that he has done for you. I hope that you would come and join us on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. on Sunday night at 6, <coughs> 6 p.m. Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Come and join us so that you can grow in your faith and understanding of how Jesus is at work 
in your life. God bless you. Have a good day.